So I'm Teddy G, I am an artist. Many types of art, um, mainly what I'll be showcasing here is the visual art. I do um, acrylic and oil painting, so kind of making the switch right now to oil, and it's a lot more like the limitations of acrylics are just not there, and I'm a lot more free with that, so I'm kind of making the switch right now. Um, it was just something that I always admired and really loved. I loved the uh, I love that part of history books and looking at old paintings and I just loved it to the point where I wanted to do it myself and you know also create that I know what it did for me and I want to you know help that feeling along in others so yeah um, well I'm, I do acrylic oil paint I do acrylic paintings and oil paintings and right now I'm really learning how to use the uh, niche technique which is a uh, oil and almost like a watercolor technique um, I, I took a class in Austria last summer, it was really fun. I learned more in that four weeks than I have in like seven years. And uh, It was Philip Jacobson's class, it was amazing and really encouraging of your own style, just teaching you technique and I've really gotten to express myself a lot further with this knowledge. So that's kind of my, my style right now. I'm always exploring new ones so we'll see what it is later on. My favorite part is the uh, the actual creation process, you know, obviously when a work feels complete, that is the most uh, more euphoric feeling, but it isn't my favorite part. Like my favorite part is the process, taking in all the inspiration, the hardships, the highlights of the day, and, you know, working those emotions into the piece, you know, really helps me process them and keep in touch with who I am. So that's, allows me to be myself. Uh, my personal goals for my artwork are to just continue with it and be able to continue to share the uh, inspiration and to um, eventually, when I feel I have the knowledge to help others, be able to create through teaching them different techniques maybe and you know just keeping that line of art going and keeping that knowledge that we've had alive so that people in the future can still use these organic techniques and create in a way that doesn't necessarily depend on technology or, you know, all of what the Western world has to offer. You know, it's to keep that classic techniques and style alive is, I feel really important to the art community. Uh, my name is Teddy G and I'm a raw artist. Mm -hmm.